What's going on, everybody? And happy February. We got Black History Month. We got my birthday month, but we also have some new movies and new shows and Blu-rays coming out this month. And that's exactly what we're here to talk about today. And that is what made my movie and TV bucket list for the month of February. We got a lot of things to break down. So let's jump right into it. Welcome back to Movie Files, everybody. Elliot here to talk about my movie and TV bucket list for this new month. For those that are new to this channel, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that bell so you can stay up to date with all of my movie reviews, TV reviews, trailer reactions, unboxings, and giveaways that we do on this channel. And let me know in the comments. Comment below. Let me know what shows, what movies, what Blu-rays are coming out this month that got you so excited that you can't wait to see. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's have some fun discussions down there. But before we jump into this movie and TV bucket list for the this month let's jump back and look at the things that i saw in january these are things that i reviewed you can see the reviews on this channel once you're done watching this video but as far as movies go i really enjoyed just mercy uh, i saw 1917 underwater not that great bad boys was a pleasant surprise and also the gentleman as far as streaming services go we got dracula which i you know i liked some of the episodes two out of the three were fine uh we had sex education which i really enjoyed and also we had uh part three of sabrina on netflix and that one wasn't that as good as the first two seasons but check out all those reviews so you can get my full thoughts and also we got some blu-rays that came out last month we got the joker parasite terminator so i unboxed those i did some giveaways so check out those videos as well so we're past january and now we're into february again it's a big month. It's Black History Month. It's my birthday. I'm turning the big 3-0, which is crazy, in less than six days. So very exciting. But we got some movies and some shows that I'm also excited that are coming out uh, this month. So let's break it all down, starting off with February 7th. We got a pretty big DC film, and that is Birds of Prey. I actually am pre-recording this video. So on the day that I'm recording this video, the uh, uh, world premiere was just in London. And so far, the reviews have been pretty uh, exciting. Uh, a lot of people are saying it's John Wick mixed in with a little bit of uh, Deadpool, which is very awesome. Uh, I hear that the cast is great. Hugh and McGregor still is a show. Huntress is great by Mary Elizabeth Winston. So, and, and of course, Margot Rab Robbie as Harley Quinn is great. So I'm very excited to see this film. I'm hoping to see it early, but if not, I will be checking it out. Uh, my birthday on February 6th, so I'll probably get a, uh, hopefully an early, earlier screener than that, but I'll definitely see it uh, open at night because I'm very excited for this film. And I'm excited to see that the reviews are pretty positive. So let me know your thoughts of Birds of Prey and if you plan on checking out this new DC film. Uh, coming out the same day is a horror film, The Lodge, which I heard a lot of great things about. It came out, I believe, last year, late last year, and I heard some really good things about it being one of the best horror films in the last five or ten years. Very high praise. Really good cast, but I heard it's dark, it's creepy, it leaves, it's very uncomfortable, very disturbing. So I'm a horror fan, as you all know, so I'm very excited for that film. That's coming out February 7th. On to the next week, but on a Wednesday, we got a streaming movie coming out, and that is a sequel to 2018, uh, to The Boys, to all all the boys uh, before, and then we got the sequel called P.S. I Still Love You. Uh, the first one I reviewed two years ago and thought for what it was for a romantic kind of teenage movie, I liked it. It's not the greatest. Uh, rom-com but it was uh, a lot better than I expected it to be and I'm, I'm looking forward to the second one because <clears throat> I'm actually a fan of the talent in this film and, 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 and interested to see what they do this uh, with this sequel and this is really kind of the first big sequel for a Netflix film if I'm not mistaken uh, correct me if I'm wrong in, in the comments but uh, I'll check that out and review it on Netflix definitely keep an eye out for that review but let me know if you all liked the first one in 2018 and if you're looking forward to the sequel here so on to that Friday which is I believe Valentine's Day February 14th we've got a couple big releases releases one is uh sonic the hedgehog where do we start with this film so when this uh trailer released last summer i want to say let's just say it wasn't uh uh welcome with open arms right everyone complained about the the design of sonic and uh the director came out and said we're going to work harder we're going to push the film back we're going to redesign the uh, the character and it did and the the new trailer kind of hit it you know a lot more positively than the first one did and uh, we'll see you know i'm, I'm a fan of, of sonic as a kid you know i played it as a kid so there's that nostalgia aspect back there's Jim Carrey kind of you know channeling his uh, Ace Ventura uh, mass day so we'll see what, what goes on with this film I don't know box office wise how well it's going to do but if I don't get an early screening for this movie I might go check it out with my AMC Ubs member or whatever I'd have there so we'll, we'll see about that film but let me know if you all are going to check out Sonic on that February 14th so it is indeed Valentine's Day these two films I, I would imagine would be nice films to take your significant other to seeing one horror one uh, romantic movie so 
the horror film is Fantasy Island by Blumhouse. You know, with Blumhouse, we all know their model. They make horror films for a very low budget, and they end up making twice, three times, four times more than their budget. We'll see about Fantasy Island. You know, I did the trailer reaction for this, and it has kind of those tropes. It has a pretty interesting cast. Interesting premise, of course, is taking the original IP from the uh, late 70s, early 80s, and putting a you know a horrific spin to it. So we'll see what that turns out to be. I think it's a great time to come out again. You, you, you're celebrating the day of love or Valentine's Day with your significant other. And, you know, it's it's a it's a great time to see a horror film. So we'll see what this film does. And I, and I might check it out. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but another film that is more on the Valentine's Day type of uh, filmography is Photograph starring uh, Laclise Stanfield and uh, um, uh, Issa Rae. It looks like a nice kind of a mixture of Love Jones. If you all ever seen that film from the 90s where she has a hard time falling in love. He wants to, her to fall in love with him. And, you know, you got the romantic things. But two great actors in the trailer look pretty solid so let me know if you all are excited about photograph coming out on february 14th so on to the next week we got a couple other films i don't want to say smaller films but not the big films that we might be uh, excited for like the birds of prey or some of the other ones here this month but we have Kristen ford coming back on the big screen uh for the call of the wild saw the trailer it looks interesting i don't know if it's something i'm gonna go see at the theater but i know there's an audience for it and of course harrison ford's a legend so we'll see how that film does we have another film coming out february 21st called emma starring Anna Taylor-Joy. Looks like kind of a, a drama comedy. Not too sure about that. I saw a trailer, but it was in between when I was getting snacks when I was watching a movie and, and caught the back half of it. So let me know if you all are excited for that film. And then we have another horror film coming out in February. And that is a sequel to The Boy. This time around, you have Katie Holmes. I'm probably not going to see it. I hear too many great things about the first one, nor did I see the first one. So I, I might check out the sequel when the box set comes out, right? And we get the The Boy uh, box set there. But no, I probably won't see it. <laughs> but let me know if you all are excited about The Boy 2 coming out February 2nd. Uh, the following week, this is a horror film I'm looking forward to. And that is on February 28th, we have The Invisible Man. Once again, this is a trailer, a movie of a, uh, I did a reaction to the trailer that came out a couple months ago. And I, and I like the cast. I like the director, Lee Winnell. Uh, you know, Upgrade and him having his history with James Wan with the Saw franchise, Insidious, and so on and so forth. So I'm looking forward to this. And I don't think this is tied to a greater universe. I think this is a one-off. Of course, if it's successful, they'll, they'll, they might make a sequel. But I'm very interested to see what they do with this film. So as far as films go, let me know in the comments what movies did I miss that you're excited for, what movies that I mentioned here that you're looking forward to seeing and me also reviewing. Let me know in the comments. So on to the TV world we have a couple things coming back for its uh you know seventh and tenth season and we got some newcomers so starting off with february 7th we have netflix's lock and key saw the trailer didn't get a chance to react to it but sharing my thoughts here i'm very intrigued gives me some Haunting on Hill House vibes, a little bit more adventurous vibes, so very interested in it. I know it's based on a book, and apparently the book's really good, so I'm very excited to see what Netflix has up its sleeve for Lock and Key coming out on Netflix February 7th. Definitely keep an eye out for a review for that. Uh, and then some other shows that, I, that's, that are coming back for their last seasons or 10th or 5th seasons, but shows that I haven't really watched in a while or seen at all. One being February 21st, we have uh, Star Wars Clone Wars 7th season. I believe it's the last season. I know it was uh, gone gone for a period of time, and, and Dave Filoni, obviously, with the success of Mandalorian in this new Disney Plus platform, they wanted to bring the seventh season back. Again, I'm a big Star Wars film fan, but I haven't dove into the animated stuff, the Clone Wars, nor have I dove into the books or the comics. So I don't know if I'll ever get into the animated stuff because I heard it's kind of complicated to get used to. The uh, the the show is kind of out of order and in not a chronological order, but I hear great things about it, and I'm excited that everyone was excited when they saw the trailer, and we'll... You you know, hopefully you all enjoy it. I might check it out one of these days, but we'll see. A lot of stuff I got to catch up on in, in, in regards to animated stuff. So on to the 23rd of February, which is a Sunday. This show I used to be a big fan of, but once I cut the cable cord, haven't watched it in years, and that is the 10th season of The Walking Dead. I believe season 7 and 8 are on Netflix, maybe even 9. Uh, definitely 7 and 8, but maybe 9. So I might one of these days sit back and catch up and see where everything's at. I know it's kind of hot and cold. I think last season or the first half of season uh, or the last half of season 9 wasn't as strong as season 8 and 9 from what I heard. Season 9 really, and season 8 and 9 really kind of brought back the early things that people love, like myself with the early season. And so you got season 10 of Walking Dead. Let me know if you all are excited about that. And then the show that I actually really enjoyed the first season. And for whatever reason, I just never went back to watch it. And that is Better Call Saul. Season 5, if 
I'm not mistaken, I think this is the last season, but they might make one more. I'm not sure. I love the first season because if you all don't know, Breaking Bad is one of my favorite shows of all time. I reviewed El Camino when it came out on Netflix, loved it. So one of these days, once it's finally over, I'll probably definitely go back and watch that show because I love the first season. I love all those cast and the story and, and obviously Saul and seeing his upcoming to become who we know uh, you know in the Breaking Bad series so there you have it on the TV front I know I just mentioned a couple of them there's a lot of stuff coming back for season premieres coming back for the uh, you know season break so let me know what shows you're excited for uh, coming in February whether it be Netflix, Hulu uh, Cable whatever the case may be HBO let me know in the comments and then fin finishing up this video we got a couple new Blu-ray releases that I will be doing unboxings for and also giveaways so starting off February 4th we have Dr. Sleep. I did a poll on my Instagram a couple weeks ago and I uh, asked you all what you want my uh, next giveaway to be and you all vo voted uh, pretty loudly that you want me to do a giveaway for Dr. Sleep so we will be doing an unboxing and giveaway for that come February 4th. On to the next week, a film that I missed out on but I've heard a lot of great things about it. That's Ford v. Ferrari coming out the 11th. The following week, a film I cannot wait to see again and that is February 18th Jojo Rabbit's coming out. Love that film. Check out my top 10 movies of 2019 and see where that film landed on my list if it did land and indeed uh but i love jojo rabbit uh and then the next week you have february 25th you have knives out which i can't wait to see again i'm gonna buy that steel book it looks so awesome i might have a poll as far as uh jojo rabbit or knives out for another giveaway for that and then a film that i did not get the chance to see uh when it was out in theater that is frozen 2 coming out february 25th so there you have it you all we got movies we got shows we got blu-rays coming out in february and i want to know what you're most excited for what movie what what show, what TV uh, shows coming back, what Blu-rays are you picking up this month, and what movies and shows and Blu-ray releases are you excited for me to review, unbox, give away, let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching this uh, movie and TV bucket list. I will be back, obviously, for the month of March. We got a lot of things coming out that month, but we're going to enjoy this month of February again, celebrating my birthday, celebrating Black History's month, and we also got a lot of great things coming out in an entertaining world. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Give this video a thumbs out. really helps out the channel. We're on on the road to 2,000 subscribers. We're so close to so help me get over that hump as well as follow me on all my social media accounts. Again, subscribe, hit that bell so you can stay up to date with my content. Thank you all again for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.